All right, we're now looking at family sociology, looking at basically a quick overview of Blackboard and where you'll find things. First things first, contact Steve. There I am. There's my email, there's my phone, and there's my office. A couple of things to pay attention to. Don't email me from your personal email. I will not respond. I'm not permitted to. The Ontario Privacy Council has not wanted us to do that. So adjust your Georgian account. If you don't add a subject to your email, I won't be responding either. Unfortunately, it doesn't help me out figuring out who you are and what you want, and I get too much spam from people who've had their emails hijacked. <laughs> so I tried to make it very clear, all right? The main place you want to be is in weekly learning. And under each week, which matches your syllabus, will be listed what's in here. They will always be there all semester. Once they're released, everything that's in there will stay there until the end of the semester, with the exception of the online uh, journal for your agreement. That closes on the 20th. Okay, so let's have a look at what's in the week. That's the video you need right there to um, do your online agreement. It gets posted in week two, no later than 5 p.m. in a PDF format. To watch a video, you just click it and play it. So you watch all your videos that way. Now you can mark it as, as reviewed. It helps you know, whoops. <laughs> it helps you know what you've done and what you haven't done. If you don't know how to make a PDF document, there's the video on how to make a PDF document. I've indicated that you need to print or download your syllabus. There it is. There's the assignment. Now there will be, when you log in, there will be a video that explains the Quintile 1 assignment a bit. So that will be associated with this document. And then there's your journal. Also a PDF. You can download or print that. There's what one of the content videos. Every week there will be a content video for you to watch. I would recommend that you have your textbook and notes available so that you can make notes and highlight and point out your textbook with post-it notes and stuff. So when the test rolls around, then you can sit by your computer, do your test, and have your notes and your, and your textbook available to help you if you need to. Remember, with tests, you'll have two attempts over a three-hour period of time on a five-day span of, of days in which to write it. So it sounds like a fair bit of time, but it can go pretty quickly. And if you don't have any textbook or notes, you may find it takes a lot longer. And if you don't prepare by having your textbook ready and your notes ready, you may find it takes a long time to find stuff in your textbook if you're searching for it while you're doing the test. Okay? Now, the other thing I mentioned, you have to put together a, an online uh, agreement. So it indicates here, week two, all journals will operate in this manner. So let's have a look. We'll go to week two. It says there will be content and your online agreement PDF is going to be posted here. So we go in and there's the journal. Now all journals will have, usually we'll say journal two, three, four, and five. This one happens to be journal one, but it's an online agreement. So you just click on the link and your journal pops up. Now this will be only a journal that you and I can see. The rest of the class does not see each other's journals. So anything that you post in your journal will be private between you and I. Now what I want you to do for the online agreement, journal entry, you can type in your name or type in online agreement, and then right there, attach a document. Browse your computer for your document, and then submit it. Okay? Otherwise, for all other journal entries, just type them in and submit, post the entry. And that's all you need to do, okay? So all your journals are done by typing into the um, um, entry message area and your online agreement gets posted as a PDF. Now the other thing you may need, see, in family, you're going to go to your wiki. Now, in your 
on your example, because I have a different uh, access with the faculty version of Blackboard, right down in here, there should be a um, group number. You are a part of a group. It might be group one through to group 12. Click on that and it'll take you to your area um, of which your group will be. Um, I don't have access to do it in this version. If I, show, if I showed you the faculty version, I could do it. But if you have any troubles with this, if you don't find you've got something down here, please email me and I'll check to see if you've been missed and I'll add you to a group. All right. Basically, that's all you need to be aware of. Take note to check for announcements on a regular basis and uh, good luck with the course. I hope you enjoy it. All right, everybody. We'll see you online. Bye now.